founder with Smart Density. Uh, Smart Density is an architecture and urban design firm. Um, I probably knew I wanted to be an architect since I was 10 years old. So I don't remember the reasons and I'm not sure the reasons are totally applicable uh, for me as a, as a grown up. Um, but uh, it's something that I always knew I wanted, uh, I wanted to be. And, uh, and here at Smart Density, um, with our project, we try, we deal a lot with uh, intensification and the housing crisis and the affordability crisis. And we try that each of our projects will have that component of smart density to make sure that the way the city grows and, and uh, which is important and wonderful will be something that we will be proud of uh, for, the, for future generations. So our big idea, uh, our project is called the Mini Midrise. And we are coming with the approach that in European cities, the, the, most of the buildings are actually mid-rise buildings. Um, there aren't so much tall buildings, not that we have anything against tall buildings, but we definitely recognize that the policy the city has to have more mid-rise buildings in the avenues, it's a, the official terminology for the majority of our main streets, actually didn't take shape or didn't materialize the way uh, we were hoping for. And part of the reason is, is that one thing is cost of land um, that is very high in Toronto. The other reasons might be that the policy uh, has many limitations. And probably one of the greatest challenges is that uh, it, required, it requires an assembly of several properties, which makes the process very long and complex and often makes or leaves those buildings simply financially unfeasible. So our idea of the mini mid rise is to have the mini mid the mid rise building design guidelines as the city directs only on a single property, and that will allow our main street to intensify, which also uh, absolutely the right place for Toronto to grow because those main streets are close to transit, public amenities. They have the character that all of us want to to live nearby. And we were thinking how those main streets could, could grow and have more people and create a more inclusive Toronto. And uh, we came up with that mini mid-rise idea to have the mid-rise building on a single property. It could be a very narrow one as well. And, uh, and it also allows even you know, perhaps even moms and pops to develop this type of mid-rise and without the extensive uh, capital that we would usually need or require with a, a really large building. Why is it important? Because the, the concept of a main street is not just in Toronto, it's in so many other cities and towns in Ontario, in Canada and in North America generally. So uh, bringing up this um, more uh, incremental approach to intensification will help the main street as, as we noticed uh, during COVID um, and that those main streets really struggled obviously because they rely on retail so much. And at the same time uh, will help address the affordability crisis and the housing crisis we uh, experiencing here in Toronto that other cities experience as well. So what's next? Um, so first of all, this project is extremely doable. Uh, it's doable because the city already has policy in place. It's doable because it's financially feasible. And it's doable because as I mentioned uh, before, even the, the current owners could, uh, could develop something like that. This is not the major higher, high density project that we're used to that are very complex and, and sensitive in their process. Um, so, for us, we actually already presented that concept to the city and, uh, and gained their support. Uh, we also developed a financial model and, uh, and we want to definitely take it, uh, take it forward and see how we can uh, build, identify the right properties and, uh, and work with the right partners to, to see the mini mid-rise uh, built across our main streets. So architectural thinking for me is, first of all, this is, it's a way of, of life really, because uh, once you go to architecture school or, or become, become an architect, it, it provides you with the tools that you look at the world differently. And you, I find myself walking in the street 
and, and identifying problems and how they could be solved. Now, at the same time, obviously these are things that are complex problems, but yet it gives you that um, problem solving mindset to, to look around and, and identify creative ways or innovative ways to, to just reshape or tweak things in our, in our lives. It could be buildings as people probably think uh, about architects as building designers, but also as urban designers, because each building um, impacts our public realm. And I always say that it's more important what happens between the buildings and not necessarily the building itself. Um, and I, this is the second uh, time we participate in the SHIFT uh, Award, and it's the second time that we win or recognize for, for the SHIFT Award. And, um, and we love taking part in it because I believe it shows a different aspect of the architecture profession um, to, to show that creativity could really, it, 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 it is really a big part of the profession. <laughs>